Yes, they've come up with quite a few more details on this for us in the last few minutes. As you say, they've now named the young victim as Lewis O'Brien. We know that he was found inside one of the houses behind us. You can't quite see in the dark here tonight. The call came in just before 4 o'clock this afternoon from neighbours that there'd been this shooting, and he was pronounced dead on arrival to hospital. Now, an 18-year-old man has already been arrested in connection with his murder. He's been arrested on suspicion of murder, and we know that he's from this area. There's a lot of police around around here tonight, particularly on mobile patrols. A lot of vans driving around. They're here to try to reassure the local community. And we've already had a statement from the senior investigating officer in charge of this investigation. That's Detective Chief Inspector Richard Carr. He says tonight that they're only in the very early stages of the investigation. But he says there is no place for guns on the streets of Merseyside. And with the help of and information from the community, we will relentlessly pursue this investigation. And he goes on to talk about those patrols as you say have been stepped up. Now, here in Highton, it is an area that is familiar to the police, particularly their anti-guns unit, which here is called Matrix. They've done a lot of work here over the months and years, working with young people to try to educate them and also, of course, to disrupt the gangs where necessary. Locals have been telling us that they do have a lot of problems with young people and antisocial behaviour here. And a resident told us that the house involved in this shooting, he believed, had actually been firebombed previously. But I'm sure we will get more more details on this tomorrow. For now, police say they're not expecting to release any more tonight.